For the last week, we've been sharing our City News investigation, uncovering claims of clergy child sexual assault. Survivors' stories have led us here to the worldwide headquarters of an order of Catholic priests known as the Basilian Fathers. Now, one question keeps coming up for every single case we've looked at. Why hasn't the church ever called police? If the Basilian Fathers had contacted police and an investigation had taken place, do you believe other alleged victims could have been spared? I believe so. I mean, it's a reasonable conclusion that there wasn't an investigation. Summer 1978, 17-year-old Bill Taylor is a camp counselor at the former Columbus Boys Camp in Aurelia, run by Basilian priests. One day, Taylor says campers as young as six years old approach him and make a shocking allegation against Father Leo Campbell. Father Leo was coming into the cabin at night and putting his hand in their sleeping bags and fondling them. He was sexually molesting them, his uh, young boys. He reports the allegation to this man, Basilian Father John Mallow. According to Taylor, Father Campbell would disappear from the camp. But nobody ever interviewed me afterwards. Two years later, Father Campbell resurfaces as a teacher at a Basilian-run school in Sault Ste. Marie. That's where Peter Lucci says he was sexually assaulted by Campbell as a student. They want to protect their priests, they want to protect themselves, but they didn't want to protect the children. In Ontario, everyone is required by law to report suspected cases of child abuse to Children's Aid Society. Though according to lawyer Rob Talek, the current legislation does a disservice to victims and society. I mean, the duty to report child abuse is right now focused on if you learn about it when the kid's a kid. Okay, we know at least in the case of childhood sexual abuse, you're not going to learn about it in a lot of cases till decades later. When an adult comes forward to report a historical case of childhood sexual assault, there isn't the same duty for an organization to report the allegation to children's aid or police. City News reached out to the Ontario government and asked if they consider strengthening the law. They didn't directly answer our question, but noted even historical allegations can result in a legal duty to report if it's believed a child is currently being abused. It took Peter Lucci more than 20 years to tell anyone about the abuse he says he suffered, a pattern uncovered by City News again and again. I had uh, believed or told myself that I was the only victim. I, I believed that I was the only one that this had ever happened to. I, I took what happened in my bed at night and I locked it up and I set it aside we had uh, holy water in our taps at home, I'm sure. I believed I was responsible for what happened. Not this priest, he was God. Look, let's just use common sense. If someone who's 35 tells you they were abused by, when they were 10, and that abuser is still working with 10-year-olds, do the math. The legislation needs to be changed. Yeah, we need some tinkering with our legislation that's going to make it more likely to identify and prevent additional abuses by a known perpetrator. The price of childhood sexual abuse to our society on a very pragmatic and practical level is huge. Go into a prison, talk to the number of incarcerated people that were abused as children. Go into a hospital waiting room on a Friday night and find out how many of those people that are dealing with physical ailments and, and depression have a history of childhood trauma. I mean, this is a rot undermining the solid foundation of this nation and every nation. The Basilians refused our interview requests. Though days after the launch of this news series, they sent us an updated statement where they say they would now cooperate with any police investigation and automatically report current abuse allegations to authorities. They say they are sorry for failing past victims. Our investigation has led us here, to the doorstep of the Vatican, where survivors are taking their calls for justice to the highest post in the Catholic Church. We'll take you on their journey tonight at 10, 9 central when we premiere our City TV original documentary, Veracity Unrepentant.